Yes, we are going to be looking at the theory of supply. The theory of what? Supply. Previously, we learned about demand, isn't it? I would say that demand is what? The ability and willingness, isn't it? The ability and willingness to demand for or to... Uh, the number of offspring that is produced. Ability and what? Yeah, yeah, yes, that is what demand is. You understand? You have to be what? Able and willing, isn't it? If you want something but you don't have the money to have it, is that demand? That is not demand. For you to make a demand, you have to be able and what? Willing to have something, isn't it? At a particular point in time and at a particular what? Price. That is demand. But here we talk about supply. What is supply? Supply is the quantity of a commodity which a producer is willing and what able to offer. Not the one that he is willing to offer, but the one that is willing and what able to offer for sale at a particular price and at a particular what period of time. That is what supply is. Exactly. Demand is the one that you're willing and able to what to buy to have for yourself. Whereas supply is the word, the quantity of a word commodity which a producer is willing and what able to offer for sale at a particular word price and at a particular period of time. That is what supply. Supply is the quantity of a commodity which a producer is willing and able to offer for sale at a particular price and at a particular word period of time. That is what supply is. You understand? Say a producer of t-shirts like this one I'm wearing, a producer of it, you understand? Is willing to bring 1,000 pieces for sale in the market. He's willing to bring 1,000 pieces. Is he making a supply of, of 1,000 pieces? Is he making a supply when he's willing? He's just willing to bring 1,000 pieces. He's not. But when he's willing and he's also what able, that means he already has it. He's ready to bring 1,000 pieces to the market so that people can come and buy. Then he's doing what? He's making what to call supply of what? 1,000 pieces of this chain. So supply does not end at willing or wanting to supply. But it also includes wanting and what? Being what? Able. Being able to bring it to the market. So when you talk about supply of petroleum products, we are talking about the amount of petroleum products that the petroleum product suppliers are willing to bring to the market. The ones that are already in the market, that are now waiting for people to come and do what? Buy. That is what? Supply. Is that clear? You cannot say that you have adequate supply of electricity when you don't have electricity for people to buy. You need to have it first, you understand? So that people who are willing to buy, who are willing to make demand, once they bring their money, you give it to them. That's when you can say that you can be able to do what? Make supply of, or make adequate supply of electricity. Is that clear? And supply is governed by a law, known as the law of supply. It's governed by a law, known as the what? The law of supply. And this law of supply simply states that, all things being equal, the higher the price, the higher the quantity of a commodity that will be what? Supply. The higher the price, the higher the quantity of a commodity that will be what? Supply. That's what the law of supply says. Is that clear? Now, how do you explain this law? If I am a producer and I'm producing this shirt, and I have another shirt, like the one you're wearing, I'm also producing and supplying this, these two, you understand? If I'm making more money, or the price on this shirt is 2,000, whereas the price on your whole shirt is 100 naira, which one will I be willing to supply more? The one that costs 2000 because I want to make more money, isn't it? So that's why the law says that the higher the price, the higher the quantity of a commodity that will be worth supply. Producers want to supply the quantity that they make more money in, isn't it? The money that have the, that you can pay the highest price to get. That's what they are willing to do or supply. Is that clear? And that is why the law says that all things being equal, the higher the price, the higher the quantity of a commodity worth that will be supplied. Is that clear? Producers always want to supply. They always supply more of the products that have that they, they, that have the higher worth price. 
Another way you can state this law is by saying that the lower the price, the lower the quantity of the commodity that will be worth supply. Is that clear? If, 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 this, if this set is cost, if this set costs very low price, I will not be willing to bring more quantity. I will bring in less quantity for people to buy if I'm the producer of the shares. Is that clear? And this law is often regarded as the second law of uh, demand and supply. You know that demand and supply go hand in hand. The first law, which one is the first law of demand and supply? The law of demand. Which says that the higher the price, the lower the quantity demanded. Is that, is that so? Or the lower the price, the higher the quantity demanded. That's the first law of demand and supply. Whereas the second law of demand and supply is the law of supply, which states that all things being equal, the higher the price, the higher the quantity of the commodity that will be supplied. Exactly. Exactly. This whole thing, are they clear? First of all, say that supply is the word, quantity of a commodity, which a producer is willing and what? Able to offer for sale at a particular price and at a particular period of time. Is that clear? Thank you.